Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Samsung has skipped one number from the Note 5 to the Note 7 in an attempt to streamline its naming with the current Galaxy S7. Unlike last year, Samsung is offering just one model that offers a dual curve display and an S Pen. At first glance, it looks like the S7 Edge with an S Pen, but when you put both models together, the Note 7 looks more squarish in comparison. The build is like what you expect from Samsung, with the use of premium materials such as glass and metal. For the Note 7, they are taking the refinement up a notch as the metal frame feels flush to a point that you can't really feel the frame as you run your fingers from the back to the front. And yes, the back is still a fingerprint magnet. The front display is a dual curve unit with a 5.7 inch Quad HD resolution. This is also the first smartphone to feature Gorilla Glass 5, which is toughened to withstand drops from 1.6 meters 80% of the time. With a bigger screen and thinner bezels, the curved edges aren't as obvious when compared to the S7 Edge. Improving over its shortfalls on the Note 5, the new Note 7 now comes with microSD expansion in the form of a hybrid SIM tray slot. Like the S7 and S7 Edge, the Note 7 including the S Pen are also waterproof with an IP68 rating. Under the hood, it runs on a top-of-the-line Otako Exynos processor with 4GB of RAM. It also gets at least 64GB of storage, which is good news for those who wish to use two SIM cards. The Galaxy Note 7 comes with Android Mesh Melo out of the box, and the interface is slightly cleaner than before. While it isn't radically different from the old touchscreens, but you do appreciate the small touches like the additional toggle controls on the notification bar. The camera is similar with the current Galaxy S7 series, with a dual pixel 12 megapixel camera at the back and a front facing 5 megapixel camera up front. The camera interface has been improved for simplicity. Just swipe from the right to bring up your filters and swipe from the left to change modes. Like the previous models, starting up the camera is instant by double pressing the home button. One of the biggest highlights is the new iris scanner. The Note 7 has an extra iris camera as well as an infrared light. Setting it up is quite easy and you need to take off your glasses during the initial setup. To unlock, just swipe down on a lock screen and place the Note 7 about 25 to 35 centimeters from your face. We tried it a couple of times and it is impressively quick and accurate even in low light conditions. While it won't replace your fingerprint scanner, it's a good backup if your fingertips are dirty. Of course, we can't forget about the S Pen. On the Note 7, it gets a couple of new tricks. You can get the instant translation for foreign words by simply hovering your S Pen over a text, even if it is an image. To see things closer, there's also a magnifying mode, which is like hovering a magnifying glass across the screen. For those who multitask a lot, would we'll definitely appreciate the new glance feature. Instead of switching between apps back and forth, you can simply hover across the glance pop-up app to get a peek. The Note 7 also lets you create animated GIFs in a Jiffy using the Smart Select feature of the S Pen. You can crop up your favorite section of any video, including YouTube, and turn it into an animated GIF. Finally, Samsung has also redesigned the S Pen so you can't slot it the wrong way. The Galaxy Note 7 gets a 3500mAh battery, which is slightly smaller than the S7 Edge. But this time, Samsung is ditching the micro USB port for a reversible USB Type C. A full charge by cable can be done in just 100 minutes, and it also supports fast wireless charging. The Galaxy Note 7 is priced at 3199 ringgit. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is SoyaChinchow.com and we'll see you in the next video.